The seventh installment of the DC EU Shazam is a enjoyable superhero film and a very good light heart comedy film. I really enjoyed this movie. Now this review will be spoiler free, so don't worry. I'm not gonna put any spoilers in here for those who haven't seen the movie. But I will highly suggest check out this movie. It's easily one of the best films in the DCEU today. Billy Bassett is a young individual who had a difficult life as he moved from foster home to foster home after getting separated from his mother at a young age. I have to say, I really enjoyed this film. Zachary Levi did an amazing job playing the main character. And also, praise to Jack Dylan Grazer. He was real funny in this movie. Speaking of um, this movie being funny, there was a lot more humor in this film than I originally thought. And in some ways, th that works to its benefit. This is the most lighthearted film the DCEU so far. And we came a, a long way from how this universe originally started, with everything dark and grim. And I, I like to see a lot of good humor in a movie. It doesn't mean it makes a movie perfect, but if a movie doesn't have humor in it, then it, it misses that key part of the story. Now, speaking of the story, other than Billy Bassett and his superpowers, you know, this being an origin film, the credit that Mark Strong, he wasn't that great as a villain who played Dr. Adelius Savannah. I thought he did all right. He's definitely one of the weak entries when it comes to the villains in this universe. He, I mean, could have done better, but, you know, the main focus was Shazam and how Zachary Levi shined on all the scenes he was in. That's where the bright spots are really are in this movie. When he shows up, it is certainly worth the effort, to say the least. Now, the pace to this movie is real slow since it's an origin film. And I felt like in some ways it kind of dragged the movie down just a little bit. Other than that, this movie is good. I can recommend it to anybody who is a fan of superhero films, especially if you like humor in your movies, then you definitely will like this film. I don't know much about the character of Shazam, but I do know I'm going into it. I was generally curious about how this movie would have turned out. Would it, it would have been lighthearted or would it have been dark? Had this movie released a couple of years ago, I, I truly believe it might have been dark and gritty. That might work for characters such as Batman, but it doesn't work for characters such as Shazam. And I'm kind of glad it kept it lighthearted. Even the ending was pretty cool, and I won't give it away, but that was a nice little Easter egg there at the end. But somebody special does show up, I will say that at least. Um, other than everything I discuss in this movie, one thing I would like to see is what they're going to do with the sequel. Now, originally, I thought Black Adam was going to be in this film. But I guess they saved him for the sequel because, you know, The Rock will probably outshine everybody anyway. But that will be interesting to see where they take this character in the next film. Especially once they bring Black Adam into the mix. On scale of 110, I'm getting this from 8. This is, without well, doubt, one of the better films of the DCEU so far. It's not played by um, sadness or dark and green tone. It's lighthearted. It's funny. It has some good action scenes in it. 
And like I already said, Zachary Levi did an amazing job. I can't wait to see what he does to his character in the sequel. Uh, speaking of which, when they eventually make another Justice League movie down the line, will this character show up in that movie? I don't know. That remains to be seen. But everybody that I had talked to before in the past really was looking forward to this movie. And since I've seen it, I have enjoyed it. And... It was a good selection, and I wouldn't have thought Shazam movie would have been good if you had asked me a couple of years ago. Nonetheless, if you haven't seen this film, check it out. You will definitely enjoy it. And that's my review of Shazam. Now leave your comments in the section below. Let me know. Have you seen Shazam? What do you think about it? Do you think it's one of the best films of the DCEU so far? Or do you have a better movie you think that's better than this one? Like I said before, I can't wait for the sequel and see what they do with this character. And especially where they take the story. And it's going to be good to see more lighthearted films come out of DCEU in the future. Now, obviously, the next film in this universe is Birds of Prey. And that film comes out next year. And I think that's going to be one of the most interesting superhero films to come out uh, in the new next year, that is. But um, anyway, if you ain't seen Sam, like I said before, check it out. You'll definitely have a good time. Okay, this is Slum Guy 172 saying, Peace out. Thank you.